Hi. Hello. Hi. I have a question for you. Have you ever felt like, uh... First of all, I can hear my mom's voice in my head. I'm like, Ian, this is weird. You're talking to a video camera like it's a real person. Which immediately, like, gives me warning signs to shut it off. Have this conversation another day. You know what? I'm having the conversation now. And I'm having it. And I'm liking it. Uh, one of these days I'm going to get a really good camera and a good microphone. One of these days very soon. And then my videos will be unstoppable. Basically, I have noticed that if someone's got a really good camera, it's way easier to watch, you know? So I've been playing with these shitty toys since 2006. It's time to upgrade. But like, I don't want to buy a $900 camera right now when they're going to be $600 in six months. But it's like to the point where like I need a good camera. Like a good camera I can make movies with camera. Canon. I'll probably get a Canon. I like the T2i, the Rebel. Oh, man. And then, like, I tell myself, like, healthy, healthy, right? I drink one of these. I'm probably going to drink another one. In small amounts. So have you ever felt like I kind of feel like this now, I think, like, twisted, like, I feel twisted, and I don't think that's a good thing, I feel like, like, I'm so tightly wound emotionally, because of sexual, like, gay, like, love and, and sexuality and all these things, are like, I'm, that I'm so twisted and tight that I can't, like, express myself, but then at the same time I'm like, what am I trying to, I don't, what am I trying to express? It's like I'm going out of my way to express something that either isn't what I am, like it's something that I want people to believe is part of me, or I want to believe is part of me. And all it's done is confuse me, like, the truth is I, I don't really have anything to explain right now, I don't, I don't think. Well, like, okay, I never thought I was gay by any standards growing up. People would be like, if one of your friends are gay, it would be you. And I would be like, ha ha, fuck you. Like, funny, right? So then I got on YouTube and I started doing YouTube videos. And I got a lot of, like, men, straight guys, women, straight gay women, I don't know, gay men. And some gay men would be like, I'm gay, and I love you. And I, I'm not just putting on a fa funny voice, but like... So I started to see, like, a lot of gay hate. And I still, you know, for whatever reason, people are afraid of unknown. It saddens me. I see way less of it than I used to. But at the time, I, just, I thought... It was very manipulative. I thought, I'm going to somehow bridge a gap between gay people and straight people by telling people that I'm gay. And straight. But I'll tell them that I'm gay which wasn't true. I mean, the word gay just means happy. But the sexuality issue was I was in love with a woman. I still am. Kind of. I don't even know what... It's like I become so twisted that I don't even know what love is. This is where I'm at right now. I mean, I know what... Love is having a conversation. It's being able to talk and listen. Like, but really care. It's not just about, like, it's not a selfish thing. It's not like I'm doing it for me. It's like I'm doing it because I care about what this other person is doing so much. Like if you love someone, you know, and it's just like you can get wrapped in so tight. It's it freaks me out. I think it's like who do you love? Do you love who you spend time with? Do you love who you want to spend time with? I think you love who you spend time with. Like inevitably, that's you come to love what you know. And it's like, yeah, the, uh, I'm like hunched over, <laughs> like, let my posture up, you know, I get this, people are like, dude, have your posture, like, you know, stick your chest way out, <laughs> like, I, I feel like I'm putting on, like, a cock of the walk, you know, <laughs> but it, apparently it looks good, like, if I'm like, like, this feels like I'm sticking my chest way out, uh, I, I think I'm supposed to keep doing it. Is supposed to look that good, you know, or whatever. I'm supposed to look, I'm supposed to like, just have good posture. Ah. Um, 
Well, let's talk about love. Okay? Obviously, I shouldn't have this conversation with a video camera. I know that. Who should I have it with? An, an ex-girlfriend? A new girlfriend? Who do you talk about love with? You can't talk about it with someone that's not your girlfriend. Because then they become your girlfriend. No, that's... It's not so black and white life. You can do a lot of things and not have the same outcome that 99.9% .9 of the population has had. Somehow. I guess if the moment's right, like right now, this feels right. You know, I don't want to wake them up upstairs. I'm actually getting a place on Friday, so I'll be as loud as I want to be. Uh, what is love? I've already asked this question, and I didn't get the answer. I was also told, don't ask questions. And I've also been told, you know what I really believe? The only stupid question is a question you already know the answer to. And I may have said that before. I've definitely said that before, but maybe it's not even stupid. If, I mean, if you know the answer, you can't ask, it's usually a waste of time. But usually is the key word there. So what is love, man? What is love? A con love is a conversation. Love is the ability to complete communication. I mean, I was in a relationship before where I wouldn't stop, ta you know, wouldn't stop talking with her. Like, we would talk for eight to ten hours straight. Like, we'd be on the phone for... We'd get on the phone at like 1 a.m. and be on the phone until 7 a.m. You know, or we'd get on the phone at like 9 and like we would lay in bed for 10 hours a day and it was love. That was love as I knew it. And then when I started to get a, expand out from that, that relationship, uh, that language was lost seemingly on other people. Like nobody really wanted to jump right into that again. And rightfully so because it was too extreme. You know, obviously the relationship didn't work because it was it was so extreme. It was, it was just, but we both just indulged so heavily in the love. It was love, and I loved her, love, and I love her in the past, you know, and in the future, and in the, pre in the present. I'm gonna find out what love is, and I'm gonna tell you what it is when I find out. Or maybe I won't tell you. No, I, I already told you I would. I'm going to find out what love is, and I don't know how or when. I guess it's effortless. But then, of course, the relationship itself is effortful. But the love is just a vibe. It, it just happens to be there, like antimatter, a void, you know? Love is the void that you can sink into. It's, love is a place where you can set your stuff. It's a bag of holding with infinite space. It's the ability to unload. I mean, it's not the ability. It's the, it's the place where you put it, maybe. The place where you can rest your feelings. Well, love on, lover. And uh, maybe, maybe we could talk about love sometime.